Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. And welcome to Mizano World Circuit, Marco Simoncelli. Um, for round six, it is round six this time of my GT3 Championships. Uh, we're going to do eight laps here today. I did run a qualifier, placed third out of 20 cars. I think it's going to be, I'm hoping for a close race because there's only 1.8 seconds between all 20 cars and it's a very twisty circuit. So let's, uh, let's get it underway, see if I can get a good start. And maybe hold position. I was expecting the Radical to place, place high, and it did. Yeah. They placed first and th uh, third, or fourth, I think, as I placed third. That McLaren there behind me placed second, so... Surprisingly, there was a Bentley up there, so well, there he goes. As we come into Rio, all the way down to first for Rio. Get a love tap. to turn seven here flat out and we'll break hard down into Garcia and to second back on the gas use all the circuit as we come into uh, the second hairpin which is Tramonto excuse my Italian back on the gas long sweeping straight here goes through these two right-handers. The first one is uh, Kernron. It's this one here. And then on the brakes, down to fourth, ride it all the way round. And into the third hairpin, which is Caro. Back on the gas. So we turn 15, so 16 turns here. It's a very twisty circuit. And then breaking into third here for Mizano and back on the gas. Oh, a little bit screwy there. <clears throat> so still in third after that first lap. See if you can't do a little bit better this lap and try and pass the old Bentley. Very surprised that the Bentley's doing so well here. This is basically a boat. Stay off his tail. Uh, Mizano, obviously best known for uh, motorcycle racing, and especially superbikes. But um, originally, originally designed in 1969. Don't make the pass stick. Yep. Um, Open to its first event in '72. So it's actually quite a young, I think it's, well, I guess it's kind of a young circuit when you talk about European circuits. Um, and it's gone through a bit of change too. So it was, uh, it was extended. Originally it was 3.4 kilometers long, which I, which is, I consider is, is pretty short for a motor racing circuit. Um, and then it was extended to basically four, four kilometers on the dot. That was in 93. And then in 2006, if I stop talking, I won't get past. In uh, 2006, it was extended to 4.2k, and at that same time, the track was actually reversed. So it used to be an anti-clockwise track, and now it's clockwise. All right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna catch up, and we're gonna pass this guy. We're gonna concentrate now. as much of the circuit as possible. I know I can get past this guy. I've clocked at 140 here in this car, so... <clears throat> I should be able to do this. The thing I'm kind of worried about here is the tyres. I'm running soft, so I don't know how they're going to hold up over 8 laps. The AI is very capable here. Um, great AI line. Oh wow. And I've got actually up their aggression too. So they were 115, uh, 35 for the last race. Uh, now they're 115, 40 aggression. I think it. I think it shows. I think these these cars handle. Seem to handle it better than the 
the DTMs that I was running at 40. Don't seem to want to ram me off the road quite so much. Okay, flat out through Caro. Sorry, Caravan. Now through Caro. See so if we can get a nice stable line through there. As I always do, miss my gear shift. was a better lap, I think, even though it's, yep. I think all of us are getting quicker, though. Tracks well rubbed up through practice and um, qualifying. I'll put a link to this um, this one. I think this is a, a race R-Factor version of this circuit, but I'll, I'll put a link the description for anyone who wants to run it. It's one of my favourite circuits, absolute favourite circuits. It feels fantastic if you get a flowing lap in because it's such a twisty circuit. I don't think I've overshot that big time. Oh, I am going to beat this Bentley. I cannot have a Bentley beating an Aston Martin around a track like this. Um, what have I got set? So, <coughs> ABS is set to 5, TC is set to 1 on this, rear wing is set to 5. Obviously all driving aids off other than auto clutch. Oh, accident behind by the looks of it. That radical is just pulling away. I need to get past this Bentley. That was a one forty one point two eight. Oh, contact. Gonna run wide there. Not oh, me stuffing around with this Bentley so that that McLaren catch up. bumps around here. Oh, Aston trying to kill me then on that corner. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Kept the inside line, come on. Still there. Oh, he's falling in behind. Cool. We got him. Keep it together. Oh, bit of a cheeky cut there by me. much of the track as possible there. And here. Okay, can we make ground up on Yoshima? Slower is definitely quicker through that section. Okay, I'm not going to watch the clock. Tail kicking out again there. It's a perfect circuit for that radical. Just corner after corner after corner. Hairpin after hairpin. I guess it's quite um, unique again in the fact that it's got three hairpins. <laughs> As we 
comes through Kilvon again. Flat out. All the way down to first for Cutter. Oh, that Bentley's still there. Probably using a little bit too much of the circuit there. The lap was a 140.65. I guess one of the uh, the other things that this circuit is kind of famous for and is not in a great way is that it ended um, Wayne Rainey's motorcycle career. He was named after um, Marco Simoncelli in 2011 um, when he passed away. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop talking. Into Tremonto again. Ah. Just a little bit of time there. I clawed him back a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to catch him now. It's a shame. Are we going too shallow on that, that curve too? And drifting through there has kind of made up some ground. <laughs> Last lap. Oh, what a shame. We're not going to catch him. Unless he makes a huge mistake. Let's just hope that I don't. Last lap. It's not beyond my skills to do it. His tyres are going though. It's a fair bit of time to have made up in like, the first seven corners. Must be running a much lower down force than that car. Bit cheeky there. Getting desperate, <laughs> wanna try and catch him. So close, so close, got him within a second, oh, what a shame, oh, wow, awesome race, absolutely loved that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, if you did, please leave a like, um, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and the notification bell, and I will be sure to upload um, more videos soon, thanks everyone, bye.